Hey, thanks for watching Yak Yak's coverage of the U.S. Open of Surfing. I'm Matt Sizemore, host of Crucial News, and we're going to wrap up our coverage with a few special interviews, first with Jesse Belauer, founder of the Life Rolls On Foundation. Jesse's story is a tragic one. Once a star athlete destined for surfing greatness, he became mostly paralyzed after a surfing accident. Many people in, this, or in his situation might decide to just give up on life, but instead, Jesse started the Life Rolls On Foundation to raise money for spinal cord injury research. He also tours the country as a motivational speaker and has been seen on programs like Good Morning America, Dateline NBC, and the feature film Step Into Liquid. Once again, here's our correspondent princess with the always positive Jesse Belauer. Okay, we're sitting here with Jesse Belauer. We've been waiting for this interview for a while. Jesse Belauer is the founder of the Life Rules On Foundation. Can you tell us a little bit about the foundation? I just basically started the foundation after I got injured, um, right before turning professional as a surfer, just to help raise money and awareness for spinal cord injury research. Of the hopes of allowing you know, over 250,000 people in the United States alone to be able to walk again one day. And um, now you're here, you're doing a special event tomorrow on Sunday, and this is the third time you've done this for the U.S. Open of Surfing? Yeah, this is, I think, the third year that we've done this here at Huntington Beach for the U.S. Open, and, you know, it's really rad to incorporate the disabled community with the able-bodied community, and they see that we could still surf and have fun, and it just inspires a lot of people to enjoy life that much more. Okay, and I believe it's called We Will Surf Again? They will surf again. They will surf again. Yeah, man. Well, it's they, and then they are we, and they are I. And Do you know any of the surfers that will be helping out with that tomorrow? You know, probably like Rob Machado, Kalani Rob, Pascal Stansfield, Dustin Barca. Um, who knows, you know, maybe the Hobgoods. Just all depends, you know. Wonderful. Whoever's we'll around. be watching it. We'll be there to support you, Jesse. And thank you for bringing such a wonderful foundation for spinal cord injury athletes and people around the world as well. And I, I have one question for you. Are you still fishing? No, no, no. I, I heard you used to like to fish when you were a kid in Marina oh, yeah. Del Rey. Oh, some people refer to fishing as trying to find girls. <laughs> um, no, I already caught my fish. But I love fishing. Yeah, yeah, I love fishing. I just went fishing last week up at uh, Port Wainimi up in L.A. and. <laughs> Got a lot of fish. Well, I heard you're not trying to find girls because I heard you found somebody really encouraging. Yeah, man, you know, uh, I did. <laughs> well, congratulations. Now, um, you know, that was my next question because you're such a huge encouragement to so many people. You're there for so many people. I know a lot of people have said that they really look to you just for encouragement to make it through each day. Yeah, well, it's good to know that people look up to me and um, that what I'm doing is making a big influence on the world, and that's all I need to know, you know. At least um, what I'm doing is respectful and in a positive way, you know, in a positive light, and all I want is people to understand that, and I'm getting good feedback. Wow, Jesse, thank you so much. Thank you for being a representative for the entire surf industry and, of course, athletes from all over the world. Jesse Blauer. Yeah, life rolls on. <laughs>You know, of all the booths at this year's competition, the best had to be the Lost Clothing Booth. Known for their spray paint tattoos and the always hot Lost Girls, the company sponsors some of the country's best surfers. We scored an interview with co-founder Matt Bialis. Here he is talking with Princess. Well, it's still heating up here at the Lost Booth, and I'm standing here next to Matt Bialis, the founder of Lost. Matt, how Excuse me, co-founder of Lost. So how long have you guys been around? About 11 or 13 years. 11 so we started in like 91 or 93. So what is that? 13 or it's, 14 years? It's been a while. Yeah. And you started shaping boards, and now there's about, there's nowhere you can go without seeing a Lost board. You can go to Missouri, you probably won't see one. I think I saw one in the Show Me State. Wow, is that what it's called? <laughs> Everybody's got those little nicknames, don't they? 
So you guys have expanded a lot. You started off with boards, but what do you have now? You've got some clothing or some yeah, sliders? We'll pretty much put our name on anything. Fanny bags, <laughs> condoms, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Fingernail polish. Whatever works. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you very Do-wop, much for your time. Rags, hair nets. <laughs> Hey, uh, you got your own energy drink. Having, though. Yeah, we do. We have our energy drink. It's wow. really good to, um, for the disgruntled youth culture of America. Yeah, isn't it called uh, Lost? Lost Energy. Lost yeah. Energy. Lost 5 Lost Perfect 10. Yeah. Nice. And you went together with Hanson's on that? Yeah, we work with Hanson's. And it's, uh, it's specially blended so that you can surf and skate all day and then still have energy to go out and party all night. Nice. Well, we're going to try a little bit of that Lost Energy. A lot of action going on here. Okay, yes, Matt is. the Man at Lost. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. bye. Okay, well, here we are. The beach games are as hot as can be right now. I'm standing here with R.S. Elliott, the Director of Marketing. What's up, R.S.? Hi, Princess. How are you today? I'm doing excellent. So, uh, you've been a big part of the Lost movement here at the. Uh, U.S. surfing, the U.S. Open of surfing. Well, Princess, I work for a company known as Avisa, and we provide technology um, to shapers that have helped push the sport um, forward in the last 25, 30 years. So we picked a list of shapers and lost Doc, Rusty Cordell, Dale Velzi, Jeff Johnson, Don Johnson, Tim Bissell, and um, Timmy Patterson are all on board with uh, their models that. Uh, it's their designs and we're here to help push technology and uh, their designs and we're really here to promote the shapers so we come down and help Lost promote and do a bunch of demos and and um, so we're here. Wow, well I know there's been a lot of uh, changes in technology with designing surfboards. I mean we know that Clark Foam closed. How has that affected the industry? Um, it's, it's had a really massive effect. I mean uh, We've had, uh, we didn't need it to happen, but since it has, it's forced people to try new techs, and ours is one of them. What kind of new technology are we talking about? Well, we, we have the most unique product on the market. It's like jumping the surf industry 15 to 20 years farther ahead. We have a hollow carbon fiber surfboard that is engineered to flex and um, has remarkable performance characteristics. Wow. So, um... You're saying remarkable characteristic. What 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 type of performance do we get out of the new carbon fiber? Well, you get fiber board? you get a slicker, uh, faster spring through the board to drive you down the line, and uh, reduce quickness in paddling a 25% uh, burst in speed and quickness. So you're uh, increasing quickness. What about stability? I mean, are you? Well, yeah, because you can take you know a, a bigger uh, a great surfer can ride either a smaller board or a bigger board depending on his ability and the technology. So you, the smaller board, you can hold a rail line and ride bigger surf in a lighter construction. So, we're so we've made performance uh, innovations all over the map. That was, that's what so I was going to say, performance. So it's so all we, about performance. It's all about performance, so we've broadened the range of performance. Excellent. So here we are standing here with the Lost Booth Girls. Hey, what's your name? Mercedes. Irene. Danny. Lauren. Samantha. So what are you girls doing? Basically hanging out, spraying people, making sure everybody's having a good time. Keeping them cool? Trying to. Some people get a little mad when they find out it's salt water, but you're at the beach. They'll get over it. Yeah. So what does it take to be a Lost Booth Girl? Um, you just have to have good personality and know how to have a good time, and that's what we're all here for. So, well, girls, you look like you're having a great time. Uh, thanks for taking time with us here at the Beach Games, the the U.S. 2006 Open for Surfing. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey everybody, I'm Matt Sizemore. And I'm the Princess of Sports. And we are here at the final day of the U.S. Open of Surfing. It has been a great competition. The crowd is out about 350,000 strong. The waves have been decent today. Good strong wind and it's just been a great time. This year's winner in the men's finals, Rob Machado. That's right, Rob Machado has been a perennial favorite here at the Huntington Beach Pier and the U.S. Open, and we're happy to say that he's the, this is his third year of winning a U.S. Open. Um, Rob Machado, I mean, I had a chance to talk to him the other day and talk a little bit about some of the things he's working on. Uh, he was one of the 2006 inductees of the Surfers Hall of Fame. Uh, we're looking forward to him getting back to his big hairdo days, but I understand his wife doesn't like it too much, but seems to be a favorite. And once again, Rob Machado, congratulations on this year's title. Yes, congrats to Rob Machado, the women's winner, Sofia Milanovic. She uh, won in 2004, this girl is 23, from Peru, or Lima, Peru, actually. Won in 2004, runner-up last year, and won it all again this year. She was slipping a little earlier in the year, but now has uh, taken it again to uh, hopefully get that 8th place ranking up a little. So, Princess, what was your uh, favorite part of this whole competition, you say? You know, just being out here in the atmosphere, 12 acres of excitement at the beach games, everything from volleyball to BMX to FMX, all the booths, the vendors, hanging out with the Lost crew, they were a lot of fun. And uh, just meeting some of the best surfers in the world, like Greg Noel the Bull. And he surfed that huge wave in 1957 in those black and white shorts, which I found out later that he actually had like six pairs of those. <laughs> so uh, that was quite uh, interesting to find out. That was interesting. And I just loved the fact that though, you know, the main thing here was surfing. I got to see skateboarding, biking, everything. It was great. I always love seeing some good skating. And uh, I had a great time. And uh, thanks for coming out with me. Thank you for hanging out with me. And we got to get you in the water still. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there in time, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, I'm Matt Sizemore. And I'm the Princess of Sports at the 2006 U.S. Open of Surfing.